Pomelo is a fruit that full of vitamin C, phosphorus, and many kind of vitamin and minerals. Normally, we can find pomelo in tropical countries, but many people believe that pomelo original is from Southeast Asian country. There are many kind of pomelo. Some of them are red or white or pink color. And the taste is quite different too. Some of them are sweet or sour or bitter or mixed between sweet and sour and bitter. Pomelo is very common in Asian country. We consider it's the biggest citrus fruit, the biggest fruit in the citrus family. And we can use pomelo for many different things. We use in cooking. We use as a fruit or we can use the white skin to do some sweet. And it's a very good toy for kids because they can play a lot with the skin of pomelos. More than 90% of watermelon in the market now, they grow from grafting. Grafting means they do grab the branches of pomelo to grow again. It's very good to grow from crafting because it's not very tall. It's easy to take care, easy to harvest. The problem is the plant, we cut the edge from the first day that they sprout from seed. If this pomelo is 50 years old already and we like it, we grab it. And then the, the, when we grab the, band, the branch of this pomelo to plant again, we need to count 51. We cannot count one because their age is the same. So they, when they die, they die at the same time. It's important to grow from seed too. When we grow from seed, it's just the way we can preserve the local variety to keep them last longer, to have more diversity. Normally, I just fill up the bag with normal dirt and then put the seed in the bag, the pomelo seed. It's good to put two seeds in one bag in case if one seed is not very good or have some problem, we will have one survive. And then water. If we keep water for a few weeks, they will sprout very fast after that. And then we can let them grow tall and then transplant them when they're tall one foot at least. It's so easy to grow Pomelo, you can grow them anywhere, it's not too low. Mainly people use the grafting branch like this to plant. But I think it's important to grow with seed also. So we can keep the local varieties alive. So when we grow from grafting, I always pull them the bags off like this and use this bag again. Some bags, some black bags like this, I use more than five or six times for planting. This is the way to use less plastic. So when we plant pomelo, we just use some compost and then cover with dirt and cover with straw and water. We need to take care of them quite serious in the first years because after they pass the first year they grow very well the biggest problem of pomelo is caterpillars from butterfly this is the eggs of the caterpillars if we plant uh, pomelo or citrus fruit it's good to look at them every day as often as you can especially when they have the new shoot whenever you see some dot like that that's mean butterfly lay eggs on it. It's good to pick them up. If we don't pick it up, it will turn to caterpillar like this and then they will eat very fast. So whenever we see egg, we need to pick them up or whenever we see the caterpillar like this, we need to take them off too. If not, they will eat them all. Sometimes when we walk around, we can see some of the leaves were eaten by something. We need to look for search for the caterpillar 
like this they were hiding in the leaf under the leaf sometimes we need to take it off if not they they damage a lot this is the big one some of them is bigger than this they eat even faster so when the caterpillar eat the leaf of pomelo they will not die but they grow very slow it take longer time for them to to recover so it's good to help them in the first year because their their leaf is very weak there's no hormone to protect themselves they don't strong enough so it's good to protect them in the first year but after the first year they are okay the second problem is some kind of beetle many kind of beetles will eat the leaf in the night time if we see some hole like this it's good to use some kind of net to cover the young pomelo in the night time but in the daytime they don't come they don't eat it much mainly in the day time in the night time they will come when we plant from grafting even they're young but they will have flowers like this the first two years it's good to pick all the flower off don't let it stay long because the pomelo will use a lot of food to feed the flowers and the young fruit and fell off at the end so it's the waste if we pick it off they can use the food to build new shoot they will grow faster but when pomelo grow big like this there's not many pests the caterpillar will not eat the leaves of the big uh, pomelo like this at all they eat only when it's younger than one year but when it's older they don't eat it mainly we maybe have some kind of worm that they eat the bottom a little bit the stem a little bit but it's not a big thing for pomelo pomelo's flower is very good smell we can make tea from it too when they're big they have a lot of flowers and then they have many small fruit it's good to pick the small fruit off one branch it's good to keep only one fruit in one branch so they will grow well and the fruit will be very good quality but if we keep all of it it will be too small and don't have enough food many of them will drop even we harvest them but nothing to eat inside it's very important to grow pomelo from seed too it's okay to grow from grafting for commercial for consumption but to grow from seed is the way to preserve the variety the diversity of pomelo because now we have less and less local varieties we have only hybrid pomelo in the market so we cannot develop more if we don't have indigenous variety or local variety in our hand